Hey, this will be a video chart on EEDG. We will take a look at the daily time frame. I do not believe we've ever done this one before. Um, kind of hard to believe considering how the chart looks right now, but here we are. I uh, want to get things updated. Had quite a few requests and questions come in for it the past few days. Uh, so want to get everything highlighted from the char uh, charting perspective, and that way everybody knows what's going on in terms of support, resistances, and all that good stuff. But let's first just start off with this little thing right here. Uh, this is the 50 day, this is a 200 day, and when the 50 day crosses above the 200 day, it's what's known in the world of charts as a golden cross, uh, a, a bullish event. I should note that one misconception is a lot of people use it as a leading indicator. It is not. It is a lagging indicator because it's made up of lagging indicators overall. Remember, moving averages are taking averages from numbers that have already happened. So it's nothing for the future, it's just a confirmation. So this event here is just confirming that the chart truly is strong and getting stronger. So, um, and not that you would need to see this happen, all you'd have to do is look at the price and think, well, geez, back here it was uh, below two cents and now it's up over 10 cents. So uh, again, just a confirming indicator, but still nonetheless, something that's good and something that uh, you, know, you never wanna not see happen so it's it's definitely an event that's worth noting in terms of support levels uh, the big one right now or let's we'll start at the minor ones and work up to the big one but uh, we have our moving averages here this blue line is a 10-day simple moving average this gray line is a 20-day these are going to be the ideal levels of support that you would like to see hold um, as far as static support levels meaning they don't change with time uh, the first one I'd keep an eye on is based right around here at we'll call uh, the 0.098, or if you want to just keep it real simple, call it the 10 cent level. So best case scenario, and if you were to ask me what would be the ideal level you'd like to see hold as support, I would say 10 cents. And then you can see down here you have your moving averages, but the ultimate really kind of must hold in a, in a sense is going to be down here at the bottom of this previous channel that the price is now just breaking out of. And you can see, you know, multiple times the price has bounced right off this area. So we'll call this uh, bottom of the channel down here at 0.067. So you don't want to see the price go down there and you know fail that because obviously multiple times before it's been able to hold. So that's going to be really the muscle level. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, really you want to see it remain above these moving averages. But ideally up here you want to see hold. Now for the fun stuff, uh, the resistance level currently just sits right here. I believe it tested it today. You can see this high from back on the 28th went up and hit at 11 and a half cents. Today's high was at 11 and a half cents. So there's clearly some selling up there at 11 and a half cents. So that is the current level of resistance. Uh, if the price does get above there and close there, I'm sure I'll be back to update the chart. But you know, one step at a time, let's first see some closes above 11 and a half cents. And you know, then the chart will be ready to you know make that next step forward. But overall, great looking chart. Uh, you can see that there's uh, some nice volume uh, that happened during the breakout, some nice lower volume during consolidation. So with any sort of break, that's where you want to see the volume. Uh, the bigger, the better, I guess, is the best way to look at that. But uh, all in all, good looking chart. I'll be watching it. So let's uh, see what happens with it. If there are any other questions on it, please let me know. If not, I encourage you to sign up for a newsletter up there. If you, and as you'll see, when you do, you'll get a free ebook. And if you enjoyed the video and want to learn more about charting and how to use it in your trading strategy, I'd encourage you to check out our video course down there below the social media. Uh, it's over eight and a half hours of video. Uh, don't take our word for it. You know, if you read the third party reviews and testimonials, uh, you know, you'll get a, a, a good idea and, uh, you know, good opinion of, you know, what people think about it. So again, if you uh, like charts and want to learn more about them, I'd highly encourage you to check out that uh, video course. One more time, this was EEDG. Thanks for listening and have a good one.